Welcome tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into something truly exciting. Google's offering in the world of Android gaming on PC. Let's take a look at both of Google's emulators. Google Play Games Beta and the Google Play Games Developer Emulator. Plus, we'll highlight how these differ from other popular emulators like Bluestacks and why some of your favorite games might not be available on Google's emulator. Let's jump right in. First things first, we need to get this software onto your PC. Fire up your preferred internet browser and head to your favorite search engine. In the search bar, type Google Play Games Beta and hit enter. Look for the top result that leads you to play.google.com slash Google Play Games. That's our target. Once you're on the main page of Google Play Games Beta, take a moment to scroll down to the minimum requirements section. It's crucial to ensure your PC can handle the software before we proceed. If your system meets or exceeds these requirements, you're good to go. Look for the green Download Beta button and give it a confident click. Choose where you want to save the installer file on your PC. Now, let's get this show on the road. Navigate to where you save the installer file and double-click to run it. You'll be prompted to choose an installation location. Feel free to leave it as default unless you have a specific preference. Click Install and sit tight while the magic happens. The installation package is around 800 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long on a decent internet connection. Once the installation wraps up, you'll be greeted with a prompt to log into your Google account. This step is crucial as it'll sync your gaming progress and achievements across devices. After logging in, you'll get the chance to set up your gaming profile. Take a moment to personalize it to your liking, then click Looks Good when you're satisfied. Next up, you'll encounter the terms and conditions. I know, I know. Not the most thrilling read, but it's always a good idea to at least skim through these. Once you're ready, click accept to move forward. Google will then ask if you want to help improve your experience by sending anonymous data for future quality improvements. It's entirely up to you. Make your choice by toggling the button at the top, then click finish. And just like that, we're in. You're now looking at the basic Google Play Games interface, similar to what you'd see on your mobile device. It's clean, it's sleek and it's ready for action. Let's take it for a spin by installing a game, shall we? Click on the magnifying glass icon on the left side of the window to open the Explore page. For this demo, let's go with a popular title, Clash Royale. Find it in the list and click Install. The download and installation process should be pretty quick. Once it's done, hit Play and watch as Clash Royale springs to life on your PC screen. And there you have it, smooth gameplay right on your computer. But let's push the envelope a bit further. Head back to the Explore page and let's search for a more demanding game. Type in Brawl Stars and uh-oh, we've hit a snag. The system tells us this game isn't currently available on play games on PC. Interesting, let's try another popular title, PUBG Mobile. Unfortunately, we're met with the same result. This brings us to an important point. Not all Android games are available on Google Play Games Beta. There are reasons for this, which will delve into a bit later in our video. For now, let's shift gears and take a look at Google's other offering, the Google Play Games Developer Emulator. Head back to your preferred internet browser and search for Google Play Games Emulator. Hit enter. Look at the top of the results for the link that leads you to developer.android.com. Click it. You'll find yourself on the main page of the Google Play Games on PC Developer Emulator. It's a bit sparse, but don't worry we're in the right place. Look for the black Download Stable Edition button and give it a click. Choose where you want to save the installer on your PC. Once it's downloaded, navigate to the file and double click to kick off the installation process. Nothing will be asked of you, just lunch and wait. The installation should be relatively quick. Once it's done, click Close. Unlike the beta version, this one won't launch automatically after installing. You'll need to click the Google Play Games Developer Emulator shortcut on your desktop to get started. The first thing you'll see is a prompt to log into your Google account. After that, give it a moment to launch. Now, here's where things get interesting. You'll be prompted to allow USB debugging. If you're planning on adding APK files, which we'll get to in a bit, make sure to tick the box saying, always allow from this computer and click allow. And we're in. At first glance, it might not look like much is going on. But trust me, there's a lot under the hood. You can swipe from the bottom of the screen up to bring up additional settings. To navigate effectively, you'll need to know a couple of keyboard shortcuts. Control H brings you back to the home screen and Control B takes you one step back. Compared to Google Play Games Beta, this developer version offers more customization options. You can access additional settings by opening the system tray icon, allowing you to change things like aspect ratio, frame rate, and other video settings. Let's take a look at the Play Store by clicking on its icon. You'll notice right away that unlike the beta version, this Play Store includes a book section. The app section is more limited mostly featuring apps in the kids category. Let's head over to the game section. We'll skip installing Clash Royale. Again, since we've already confirmed it works in the beta version. Instead, let's see if we can find those elusive titles we couldn't access earlier. Let's search for Brawl Stars. Type it in and hit enter. Unfortunately, no results. Okay, 
Let's try PUBG Mobile. Type that in and search. Unfortunately, we're met with the same result here too. But don't despair. This is where the developer emulator really shines. We can actually install APK files of games that aren't available in the Play Store. Let me show you how. I've done some research and found a game that's not available in the Google Play Store, but can be installed as an APK file. For this demonstration, we'll try out a racing game called Asphalt 8. First, Let's confirm it's not available in the Play Store. A quick search confirms it's not there. Now, I've prepared an Asphalt 8 APK file from apkmirror.com. It's worth noting that apkmirror.com is created by the team behind Android Police and is considered legal because it distributes free and unmodified APKs of apps that are publicly available on the Google Play Store without hosting paid or cracked versions. Let's install it. We need to navigate to the folder where the emulator is installed. The path is typically in program files slash Google slash play games developer emulator slash current slash emulator. Once there, click on the address bar and type CMD and hit enter to open a command prompt for that folder. Remember when we allowed USB debugging earlier? You'll be prompted to allow USB debugging. If you're planning on adding APK files, which we'll get to in a bit. This is why it allows us to communicate with the emulator from outside the app. In the command prompt, type dot backslash ADB devices and press enter. You should see a message like list of devices attached localhost colon 6520 device. This confirms that we can see the emulator. Now, we need to get the location of our APK file. Navigate to where you saved the file. Hold shift and right click on it. You'll see a new option. Copy as path. This copies the file's location to your clipboard. Back in the command prompt, Type dot backslash ADB install, followed by a space, then paste the location of the APK file. Hit enter, and if you see performing streamed install a success, we're golden. Go back to the home screen and swipe up to access the extra menu. And there you have it. The game is installed. Let's fire it up and see how it runs. We're in. You might encounter some update download issues, but the base game should run without a hitch. And look at that. We're racing. The game is running smoothly on our PC through the Google Play Games Developer Emulator. This ability to sideload APKs opens up a whole new world of possibilities, allowing you to play games that aren't officially available through Google's platforms. It's a powerful feature that sets the developer emulator apart from its beta counterpart. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Why are some games not available in the Google Play Store on these emulators? It's a bit technical, but I'll break it down for you in simple terms. Google's emulators can only run games that are built for x86 or x86 64-bit architectures. This might sound like jargon, but stick with me. You see, PCs typically run on x86 or x86 64-bit processor architectures, while mobile devices usually use ARM-based processor architectures. It's like they're speaking different languages. Some game developers optimize their games for both architectures, ensuring they can run on various platforms. However, others don't, either due to resource constraints or sometimes legal reasons that bind them to ARM-based processor architecture. This is why you can't play certain games on Google's emulator. It only speaks the language of x86 and x86 64-bit. Now, you might be wondering, how come other emulators like Bluestacks can run most games? Bluestacks has its own translation layer that converts ARM-based processor architecture code to x86 or x86 64-bit. It's like having a built-in interpreter. This might lead you to think that Google Play Games beta is better optimized than Bluestacks because it has less lag. But the real reason is that Bluestacks is doing extra work behind the scenes. It's running that ARM processor translation layer, which allows it to support more games, but at the cost of using more of your PC's resources. This extra processing layer puts more strain on your PC, which is why you might experience some lag on other emulators. It's using additional PC resources to translate the code on the fly. But here's the kicker. Any x86 or x86 64-bit game that runs on Google's emulator can also run on Bluestacks, likely with similar performance. Plus, you get access to some advanced features. Anyway, so if you're planning to run APKs on the Google Play Games Developer Emulator from a site like apkmirror.com, make sure to download the x86 or x86 64-bit versions or universal versions. Universal meaning that in most cases it is a pack that contains all versions. This will ensure compatibility and smooth performance. And there you have it, tech enthusiasts. We've explored Google's new Android emulators, walking through their features, installation processes, and game compatibility. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Until next time, this is your IT Explainer signing off.